Safety Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. All right, well, the thunder and lightning may be uh, woken some of you up this morning. Not everybody, but uh, nonetheless, we got it straightened out for this afternoon. Good news is some nice looking weather over the next several days. Cooler weather as well as we round out the week and start the weekend. So we'll talk about all of it in just a bit. But first, our drone shot from today. And again, a lot of cloud cover out there. We had the storms this morning. And that gave way to mostly cloudy conditions into the afternoon and uh, but still temperatures were able to top out in the lower 80s. We'll push the mid 80s tomorrow afternoon, but then that'll be it for the rest of the week. So here came the storms this morning, mainly for areas along and north of the I-10 corridor. Now all of that activity well off to our east impacting portions of the southeast still. Ongoing tornado warnings as we get into portions of Georgia and South Carolina. And as I mentioned, the 24 hour forecast, I was seeing some pretty impressive signatures on uh, the radar from the velocity signatures. So uh, there were probably a couple strong tornadoes off to our east. We'll see what the reports say tomorrow. But nonetheless, here across the Cadiana Power Doppler 3, quiet. That's the way it's going to go for tonight. Temperatures mild and muggy out there. Lower 70s only for the overnight low. Maybe some patchy dense fog first thing in the morning. Mostly cloudy, low clouds out there for the first half of the day, but we should start to see some intervals of sunshine into the afternoon. Here comes a cold front. Could generate a couple light showers, but that would be about it. Rain chances tomorrow no better than 20%. It's going to be warm out ahead of that boundary as uh, we'll see our highs push the middle 80s, but then that front sweeps through and it's going to be turning cooler and breezier as we head into our Thursday. Look at this. going to be starting out looks like in the upper 40s to lower 50s and uh, it's going to be a really nice day on Thursday. Lots of sunshine expected. Temperatures get a little bit cooler behind that front lower 70s into the afternoon. Very comfortable and again those winds will stay breezy out of the northwest sustained 15 to 20 miles per hour gust at times even a little bit higher than that. So tonight uh, those temperatures again kind of late summer like lower 70s is where we're going to hold and then again we'll see those readings pushing the mid 80s out ahead of that boundary but then here comes the cold front cooler air is going to be spilling in behind it again most of us upper 40s to near 50 degrees as we start our Thursday and then lots of sunshine Thursday afternoon with temperatures topping out lower 70s average high this time of year uh, sits at around 76 degrees. So those winds tomorrow going to start out out of the west southwest into the first half of the afternoon. But again, as the boundary pushes through, they're going to be picking up tomorrow evening as those winds turn around to out of the northwest again, sustained 15, 20, maybe upwards of uh, 25 miles per hour. They may relax just a bit as we head into early Thursday morning, but then they'll pick up again as we head uh, into Thursday afternoon. So for tonight, mild and muggy we will go 71 only for that overnight low, mostly cloudy skies and again, uh, we could see some patches of dense fog late and then going into early tomorrow morning. So keep that in mind for the early morning commute. But otherwise, that fog is going to burn off as the morning wears on. It's going to be a mostly cloudy start, but should start to see some intervals of sunshine into the afternoon. Warm initially, we'll go 86 for that projected high. Uh, but again, once that front pushes through, we'll start to see cooler air working into the area. And look at this forecast for the rest of the week. Lots of sunshine Thursday into Friday. Very comfortable afternoon afternoons, lower 70s, overnight lows in the 40s. So we're not done with the 40s quite yet, even though we are nearing uh, mid April here in Acadiana. Weekend looks fantastic. We'll be a little bit warmer, upper 70s, and we'll get back into the lower 80s into next week with the return of some scattered rain chances as well. Well, that's going to do it for weather for now. We'll have more news coming up after the break.